Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, you're going to make a fantastic lamb curry in a kind of West Indian Jamaican style. In here, you can see I've got about 650 or one and a half pounds of lamb with bone on there. Simply, what we're going to do is add some curry powder to it. Here you go, I've got some curry powder. Now, Jamaican curry powder is not the same as your Indian curry powder. If you can't get this in your store, check out our other video which tells you how to make it. It's very, very different. It's got a lot more different things in like allspice and such. It's also a little bit milder. So what we're gonna do, just get some over here. One, two, three, and four teaspoons of this amount. We're gonna add a little touch of corn oil or sunflower oil, it's up to you. going to go in with a little touch of salt. Now what we need to do really is mix this around and then leave it overnight. We haven't got time to do that today. I'm going to go straight in with this. So we're going to give that little mix. I'm probably going to leave it for about 10 minutes, not overnight, and then we'll get over to the cooker. Okay, so I've got a nice pan here. I mean luckily I've got a, a dutchie here, but use any saucepan that you like. There's my meat. Like I said, if you can leave this overnight, it'll be so much better. I've got a little touch of oil in there. Let's pop our meat in. What we're going to do now, we're just going to cook this with the lid off for about five minutes. We're just going to kind of seed it a little bit. But while we're here, we're going to add some ginger and garlic. Roughly chopped, nice and chunky. Also, some bay leaf. So we're going to just stir this around, cook it for like five or six minutes on a kind of fairly high heat just to seal it together, then we'll move on to the next stage. As you can see this is sealing really nicely, it's nowhere near cooked of course. What we're going to do now, I've got water, hot water. Enough to kind of cover it somewhat. And the reason we're adding the water now is because we need to cook this and get it really nice and tender. So I'm going to lower the heat. I'm going to take my lid, it goes on, and I'm going to be back in about 30 to 40 minutes. Here we are then. As you can see, this has reduced a little bit. And our meat's nice and tender now. I'm still not quite done. At this stage I'm going to put in some onion. I've got mine sliced, if you want to make it chopped it's entirely up to you. Then I've got some potatoes, really nice and big as you can see here. Really chunky cut. I've also taken one of them, one of my potatoes, and I've cut it really really small. What that would do is when it cooks down, that, that small potato will break down and thicken our sauce a little bit. Now I'm going to add some uh, scotch bonnet pepper. If you want, you could just put in some sauce, like some pepper sauce if you wanted. And I've cut them whole like that so we can take them out later because they are really, really hot. Give this a little stir. It's going to go back on. I'll be back here in about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, let's take a look now. Can you see how thick that's got now? That's because the water's reduced and those little potatoes are pretty much broken down and kind of created a nice sauce for us. What I'm going to do now is add quite a lot. I mean, it's up to you of uh, spring onions or scallions. I just like quite a lot of them. I've also got here some creamed coconut. And if you're familiar with that sort of stuff. You could use a coconut milk if you can't get your hands on this. Just a touch in there. So we're gonna give this a mix. You need to check this for salt now. I mean, for me, I know it's gonna be good. If you want, you can remove these bay leaves 
and all the pepper that we put in. And I'm leaving mine in. We're, we're a spicy descent. We like hot food. And there we go. We've got a really lovely thick lamb and potato curry. That's going to be absolutely delicious. I'm going to have that with some white rice. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, howtocookgreatfood.com.